How's it going everyone? This is Bahala Gaming TV and we're here today playing a game called Enshrouded. It's a survival game and apparently it's got really cool build mechanics. I've never played it before so this will be my first time seeing it and experiencing it. And I was uh, thinking that it'd be a good idea to do it with you guys. So let's check it out. Looks like we got a character creator. We got some presets here. Well, there's quite a few presets. Oh, it could be the old man. Me and Mr. Mutton Chops McGee. What else we got? Ah, there, there we go. That's the kind of guy that crashed on a pirate ship and you find him on the beach. We're, yeah, I'm going with him. Old raggedy vagrant man. Let's see what kind of hairstyles we got. Like, the only hairstyle that's really worth doing is probably bald, you know? Really all you need. A lack of hair. Oh wait, we can do the dreads. Ah, oh, look at that. It's that, like a fox hawk, I think is what that's called. And we got ponytail. Ponytail with more hair. Ponytail with side hair. Some bangs. Oh, there we go. Then I can look like Rick Rhymes. Yeah, let's go with that. Be a Walking Dead playthrough. We got white hair. And we're gonna go with the gray. He needs to look distinguished. Beard. What kind of beards can we get here? Go with the stubble. Look at that. Alright, we got the goatee and the mustache. Oh, the, got the mutton chops right there. All right, we're not going full Rick Rhymes. We're going biker. Let's, let's try biker. And he's gonna have gray. Ooh, voices. Let's see what we got. Ha. 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 So these are all the female ones. Ha. 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 Oh, that sounds angry. Yeah. You child like. Ha. 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 That's better. I think that's fitting. We'll go with that one. And what's this? Name. All right, name. This is going to be a hard one. Got gray hair. And he kind of looks like Rick Rhymes. But then he's also got a mustache and mutton chops. Hmm. Okay. After about an hour of contemplating what the name's going to be, I'm going to call him the Walking Fred. Yep. That's what we're going with. Walking Fred. Create. Not going back. Alright, Walking Fred level 1. Is made today on the 30th. Alright. Okay. Oh, and you can rotate them here in the, in the main menu. That's cool. Alright, let's check this out. We can play. Private game, host game, join game. A public lobby. But a private game. Save local. Okay, we're gonna go private game. New game, create. My world. And edit it. We can name it Valhalla Gaming TV. Yep, and fame level one. I wonder what the fame is for. Hit play. Let's get into the game. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing. A weapon, once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the well, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the flameborn. 
Now your time has come. Awake. Interesting. Is that like a pot or something? Coming out of an egg. Walking Fred, come on. He was just born. All right. Not that cool. I have no idea what to expect in this. Rested, sheltered, warmth, comfortable. It's like we got ourselves a uh, temperature system. Graphics are pretty cool. Like that door. Cinder Vault. New location charted. One marker added. What's going on here? Commune with a flame. Not to speak in English. You've slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervel has fallen. Assumed by the shroud, now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Flame altar. I got a new recipe. J for journal. Okay, so we got some quests. Claim a spot for your base. Okay, so that must be what the flame thing is. What else we got here? We got the world map. Planes for the first base. Looking pretty big. Crafting. All discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Here you can find the requirements and ingredients for each recipe. And you can pin recipes to get a notification once you have collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. Okay. Any recipes is always cool. We got our backpack, character, a walking Fred looking all ripped and wrinkly. I knew he was old. Going with that. Ooh, and a skill tree. Look at all that. Zoom out. Um, let me zoom in or out. There's quite a bit here, though. Oh, we can be an athlete. Warrior, tank, battle mage. Oh, and there's different colors. It's kind of like Skyrim. Okay, so there's red, blue, and green. So what, is this like assassins, warriors, and mages? Interesting. Well, we'll have to get back into that later. Let's get moving. I'm well rested. Six minutes. Look at all that. Place is looking pretty big. Reach the plains. What this is. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Alright, press I, go to the map. Planes for the first base. Click on it and set a waypoint. Okay. Where's that waypoint at? Okay, we got a compass on the top. Ooh, we got a book. Some guy that's looking like he's uh, been here for a while. On the flame and its murmurs, your light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it in a flaming core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite processing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations. Okay. Okay, how am I going to get down from here? Oh, there's a creature down there. Like a wolf or something. We got to find a way down. Someone didn't light this one. I'm lagging a little bit. And oh, we got ourselves like a mine. Free stamina, maximum, and regeneration. Got no weapons or anything. I hope there's nothing in here that's gonna kill me. Oh. Wow. Like some magic wisp lighting the way. Ladder. Okay, I'm not using that ladder. Not even necessary. 
be damaged. Ooh, I broke it. And I got... Wait, did that give me a shield? Uh-uh. All right, backpack. Character. Rough wooden block. Oh, okay. It unlocked recipes to make. So I got some wood from it. Secret chest. Got ourselves a torch. Gonna need that. Space to take it. And a bandage. 4% healing per second. All right. We're getting ourselves set up. Can I attack that? Oh, and we can throw it, too. Well, if anything's up here, I'm gonna burn them. Ain't gonna be happy. Game's looking pretty cool. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. A lot of shroud talk. Okay, so I picked up another torch. Well, I guess as long as I have a torch on me, I can go through it. Is that blue stuff, the shroud? Enshrouded. Okay. I can be in here for five minutes. Press tab to lock onto your foes. And press control to dodge out of harm's way. Oh, I jumped right into that. That's good. I killed whatever that was. It's like they're all over the place. Oh, there's something here. Yeah. Effective backstab. Smack again. Got him. Searching. Ruins. We can read all this stuff a little bit later. Some torn cloth. We are in this enshrouded stuff and we probably need to hurry up and get out. But we got durability on this torch too. They're wearing it out. Take all. I'm going to take everything I can because I'm not sure what anything's used for yet. Okay, we're out of the enshrouded stuff. We can loot more wood. Okay, we can break all that stuff, but I don't think I want to have that equipped because I can just punch it. Lots of wood. My fists are going to be so strong at the end of this. I'm going to be the cardboard commander. Workbench. Recipe unlocked. If you fall, you arise again at your last return beacon. I'm getting some, like, Elden Ring vibes from this. Like a survival game mixed with Elden Ring. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Dark Souls vibes. Pick that up. No. I saw a creature over here when we were up on top of that. I think it was like a wolf or something. Ooh. Got some purple berries. Yep. There it is right there. I'm just going to avoid it for now. Harvest and eat berries to replenish your health over time. It will prepare you for the dangers ahead. I can see the danger right there. To try to make a base real quick just in case. This is that a mushroom? Got ourselves a red mushroom. Oh, we got some rocks. And we can make an axe. That's a nice boulder. That is a nice boulder. Got the trees here. Can I punch them? We can. Take a while to break that down, I imagine. I lost some stamina, I think. Yeah, that is my stamina, so that blue bar on the left. It's kind of weird. What's... A mana must be on the top left with my health. We're figuring things out as we go. Location reached. New quest. Claim a spot for your base. Location reached. Okay. So, I think we gotta craft something here. In. Got uh, Let's see. Crafting is V. Flame altar. Place the flame altar above the shroud to mark your home. Build inside the mark area around the flame altar. Okay. And we need six stone. Oh, we got six stones, so. Let's craft it. Oh, yeah, we got an achievement. Create a flame altar. Seven. Okay, so. Base area is not super big, but. Maybe we can make it bigger later on. Place it right there. Now we gotta talk to the flame. You are not alone. 
There are other survivors, drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Oh yeah, there we go. And we can extend the building's range. And right now we got a 40 by 40 by 40 area. Strengthen the flame, gain global benefits, and reset skill points. Okay, so we can make different choices later on. Extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Beware. Areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Placed items will be lost. Okay, let's not extinguish the flame. So I'm guessing that the shroud just engulfs everything. It looks like it's right over there. What's that blue stuff that looks like smoke? Alright, what do we need to do now? Travel through the shroud. Find the sleeping survivor. Don't want us to do anything yet. I'm going to adjust my settings for a second. Be right back. Okay, I adjusted some of the graphic settings to see if that works better. Might still be a little laggy. Okay. 493 meters away. That's a little ways away. Is there anything I can craft with like a respawn or do I just spawn here? Bandages, campfire. A small campfire to cook food that can give many bonuses. A great spot to take a rest and relax. Okay. Construction hammer. Hammer of the ancients and archaic building tool fueled by the flame capable of quickly erecting various structures around your home. May be used within the range of a flame altar. Luckily I have one of those. Builds a bow. Okay, so we got a bow. It needs twigs and a string. We haven't found any string. Club, though. We can do that. Okay, I'm going to find some wood before I go out there. And try to find our new friend. What is that? A creature. Okay, I'm staying away from all that stuff until I get a weapon. I will pick up these mushrooms, though. We can harvest that. Ring. Okay, so plant fiber, we can make string. Nice. More rocks. Wonder if there's a limit to how much stuff we can carry. Inventory. Let's see, backpack. Uh, I'm not seeing a weight bar. That'd be cool. Okay. So let's open up the crafting. We need more wood logs. Are we supposed to be able to make an axe too? Axe. We need twigs and string. Now we should be able to make string. Let's craft that. And now we need to get some more twigs. Where are some more of those bushes? Grab tons of this. We need all the berries we can get. What's this stuff? Okay, that's plant fiber and twigs. Awesome. Make an axe. Another achievement. Craft a simple item. Thus it begins. And let's go chop down a tree because we need some logs. I'm running that stamina down. I think we might need to eat soon. Oh, it just falls out of the tree. Here goes the tree. It's gone. And we got some logs. Oh, we got a bunch. We got 12 and two twigs. Okay. Let's go back to the crafty. We can make a club now. And we can also make some... Make a bow as well. We just gotta go make more of that plant fiber. Let's get a club. And is it a one-handed? We'll find out. We need string for a... Shield. That's interesting. This. Flex. Plant fiber. What we're looking for. Some mushrooms. Plant fiber. I want to make a bow as well. The other question is, do we know how to make arrows? Or is it just unlimited? I'm going to eat some food. Purple berry. Health regeneration is active. This. Resin. Cool. Down the tree. Some more berries. Wig it up. And let's head back here. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch my stamina. Um 
want two string, I think. Those string wood logs, okay. Two string it is. Craft, craft, build, and a bow. Awesome. Now the bow. No ammo. Okay, so that ain't gonna work. Gotta find out how to make arrows. Maybe we gotta get like feathers or something. Okay. Well, I got a I got a club now. So we can go smack some stuff, and then the shield. Can I equip that? Backpack, shield, move, action, equip. Nice. Okay, we're set up. Um, clothes. Horn cloth. We make clothes. Rags. Upper body armor, level three. String and torn cloth. So we got two torn cloth, and we don't have enough string. I have to find that cloth elsewhere. Where's that creature that I saw? I don't, really, I don't see it no more. Okay, let's see. Are we gonna have to go all the way down in that blue stuff? I'll look at the map. One's way over there. Make a house just so we can leave from it. Not really a house though. I guess buy some land up. There's a goat. Is that a billy? Oh, and there's a wolf. Okay. Tab to lock on. Our first battle. Oh, it's stuck. That's convenient. Alright, yeah, there we go. What do we get out of him? Animal fur. And some bones. Oh, we can make a wand now. Magic stuff. That's gonna be awesome. I think it's getting kind of dark. Billy took off and ran. He wasn't having it. There's another wolf. Looks like he's stuck in a rock too. I sneak. I'll call your friends. Smack ten. There we go. Got more bones and animal fur. I'm getting some experience too. Oh, it's lighting them up. I want to know what that is. Those uh, little wisp things that keep lighting that stuff up, whether it's me or not. It's a beehive. The feeling is a bad idea. Harvest? Nope. Okay, we don't got to worry about bees attacking us. What? Got some wax and honey. Probably make some candles. Long keep. Reach level two. I'm doing something right. Okay. Leveled up. Let's see what kind of skill points we can do. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet, but it looks like we can reset our skill points in the future. Okay, sneak attack. Does massive damage, 10x damage to unaware enemies. While well rested, the base duration for your rested buff is increased by 5 minutes. You only need 3 instead of 6 seconds to revive an ally. Merciless attack before, or perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you have powered. That's like a finisher move. The pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. That's like mining. And Lumberjack, felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. Beastmaster. Sounds pretty cool. And we got the Ranger. Adds a 20% chance to spawn flurry of arrows that spread slightly. You can draw and use your bow while gliding. You will fall slowly. Okay. I kind of want to go down the archer path. Increase your dexterity attribute by one, increase range damage by 5% per attribute point. How do I get there? I guess I can do sneak attack. Or I can do lumberjack. I think sneak attack would be good. You have to sneak up on enemies. I wonder if that still um can still be used if you're using a bow. 
Increase the damage you deal from behind by 25%. I don't got enough skill points for that. Alright, we're going with Lumberjack. Unlock Lumberjack. All tools lose durability 50% slower. When you mine resources, you have a 10% chance to get one additional resource. Okay, I like that. We're going to go down this path here. We're going to head right up. And we're going to go right up the ranger tree. All right, that's what we're going to do. Get out of that. It is getting dark. Maybe we find some chests in here. Interact with campfires to cook food or sit near them with X to become rested in the wilds. Oh yeah, yeah, get that stamina up. Looks like the timer's going on the top left. We got a book over there. Oh, look at that, there's meat. Ooh, we got some eyes over there. I think it goes all the way up to six. Three minutes. Okay, I lied. It goes up to five minutes. But we're rested now. Collect some wood. And there we go. Raw, lean meat. A grilled red mushroom. Somebody already cooked that. Ooh, and water. Kind of weird, though. Do we actually have, like... We don't have, like, a, a hunger bar or anything like that. I think it's just for healing. And... That yeah, character. Um, our attributes. Okay, so those seem to go up on their own. And status details. Oh. Food effects. Okay, so each food is going to have a different effect on us. So it's kind of like uh, Valheim. Read. A good night's rest. Finally a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore. The warmth of a fire and a little shelter and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They will make for a nice meal when cooked over a fire. Is it under the bed? No, I think I already picked it up near it. We can sleep here. Alright, time to take a nap. Okay, so it just speeds it up by 60%. Look at this. Oh, there it goes. This must be morning now. I heard the rooster. Now we can cook some stuff. Place food in your action bar, select it, and press left mouse button to cook. Okay. Let's grab some of those uh, mutton chops. Some raw lean meat. If we eat it now, we're going to get ourselves some food poisoning. Don't want to do that. And I can't use the bow yet, so I'll just put that there. Alright. Hold the cook. wonder if we gotta time it. That cooked? Yep. Alright. We're cooking now. Got two grilled lean meat. What's that do? There it is. Plus one constitution. Rich in protein and delicious, but only a small snack. How is that a small snack? Increase the constitution of the user by a small margin. Guys on that protein diet. Okay, let's eat it. Oh, my health bar went right up. Cool. Yep, that's just like Valheim. Select. What is that creature? I saw that earlier. It's like a bunny. I'll go back to that well in a second. I'm back. That is a bunny. Oh yeah, enemy slain. Oh, that's where you get the raw lean meat. Little critters. Oh, is those arrows? Those are arrows. Crap arrow. Did not give me a recipe. Oh, there's a flint arrow too. That's fine with me. At least I got some arrows. Okay, we got two torches. We don't need both of them out. We'll do that. Now, how do I... Okay. Arrows automatically equipped. Good to know. Alright, let's start heading towards our friend. That enshrouded stuff looks like it actually moves, though. Water is a great source of vitality. 
Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate it faster. Yeah, water out. Okay, it gave us five things of water. We already had some water, but I have enough, right? And let's drink some water then. Maximum stamina increased. Does that keep going? Oh, you can only do one of those food types at a time. And on the top left, it looks like those bars go down over time, so the food wears off. Okay. Get moving. So the game runs pretty smooth, but it seems when I'm loading into different areas, it gets a little laggy. This is a good time to test out. Oh, it locks on. Waboom. Yeah. I don't need to aim. I auto aim. The walking Fred has aimbot. All those years of experience killing zombies. Right. Let's get some berries, some mushrooms. I'm gonna head towards my little buddy over here. All right, I found ourselves a little camp. Anything in here for us to get? We can sleep here. Oh, we got another piece of paper to read. I love paper. Oh, and a chest. Flint arrow. Take that. Bandages and a health potion. All right, let's read. Captain's journal, day six. The raiders have besieged us these part our past two days, attacking from the bridge, their eyes such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. The scavengers return, we are prepared. Captain Arkwright. All right. It's like that bridge already got blown up. Balin Bridge. Look at all the arrows. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for that. Wherever people have been fighting, we got some nice arrows around here. Supposed to be an archer, so I gotta start using this thing. Okay, that does not look like the way to go. You can't proceed without a grappling hook. Eek a path through the shroud instead. Of course, we gotta go... Ugh. All smoky down there. Oh, it looks like our path that way. I was gonna take the easy route, but the game doesn't want us to take the easy route. We gotta go suffer. Through the stinky blue smoke. Now, I can really use a shirt. That would be nice. Nice shirt. I'm tired of looking at this guy's nipples. Let's see what we got. Is that another torch? Yes. I'm gonna fill my whole inventory with them. Captain's Journal, day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connection to supplies. But it worked. Uh, we haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud at Ether. Nope, not Ether. Either choice is certain death. Captain Arkwright. Wasn't the cinder vault where we came from? Came out of an egg. Wooden arrows. Now, we're just getting bunches of arrows now. I'm liking this. Right. Let's see where we're going now. We gotta go into the blue fog. Only got five minutes. Stay on the path, lest the shroud can take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Outkin. See the monsters in here. Follow the path. Looks like a shroud kid. Okay, uh, he's coming. Let's took all of it. Run around him. Escape him. I just want to get out of the blue fog, man. I don't know what's going on. We make it. Nope. Still enshrouded in here too.
Can I climb it? Okay, we can climb that. But we need stamina to climb that, so let's wait this out for a second. Okay, we have recovered the stamina. We made it. Let's keep moving forward. Got ourselves another fire. I think we have more of that meat. So I think I can cook some of that here. Go to the backpack. And put the meat here. Okay. There we go. Grilled meat. Put that back in the hot bar. It looks like we're getting full. Okay, so we got the club. 11 damage. And the sword does 11 damage. Got less durability. It looks like it can get poison damage, but it's locked. Kind of like the sword, though. Sword and shield sounds good right now. And it looks like we have two action bars. Okay. Oh, we can switch with alt. That would have been nice to know. Now we do. Okay. Got two bars now. And to read. Spectacular progress is being made. To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous, no, allow me to begin again. All travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. Uh, the bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. And found it. How lucky, uh, how lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though, if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered. For her and the bridge share not just the name, but a brash nature. Signed, Cade Hawthorne. Interesting. We just basically said that his aunt was a bridge. It was bulky. Alright. We're 240 meters away. Let's keep it moving. It's like we got out of the enshrouded stuff. I think it's in that big tower. Travel through the shroud. We already got through that. On the road now. There's gonna be some bigger creatures, I know it. This doesn't look like a place you just show up to without anyone trying to stop you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull out the bow first. Rushes can conceal you when you're within them. Oh, there's a guy right there. Press C to crouch and hide. Use them to sneak up on enemies. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Dude, there's bees. Oh, there's bees. And they know now. They set up a bee trap. Okay, I'm getting up here. It's archer time. Oh, are they fighting each other? They're fighting the bees. Oh, that's crazy. Got one of them. Give me 45 experience. Okay, I have no idea where those bees came from. That was a trap. It was in that tree, I think. Or in that uh, canister. Or whatever that is. Let's see if I can hit this guy from here. Boom. Got him. Taking a lot of damage. Headshots matter. Aha! I'm running out of ammo though. Metal scrap. Ooh. I really need to find a recipe. Okay, so where were those bees coming from? It says conceal here. Oh, there's two hives over here. See if I can pick them before they start coming back. Oh, there's three. And harvest. Can I jump on that one? Okay, we're going to do the old chop down the tree method. Oh man, this guy's chopping. Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. Those hives were mad. They even made the two guys fight and hurt each other. 
Okay, let's keep an eye out for any new enemies and apparently beehives. Probably eat some meat too. My healing up. My health going up? No. Berries? There it goes. And water. There we go. Got the trifecta. Berries, meat, and water. All someone needs to be healthy. Search. Got ourselves some more clothes. That's one thing I want to see if we can make. So, we need three string. Do I even have enough to make that? Yes, I do. Oh, and we can make wooden arrows now. Okay. And a staff. Oh, well, we're going to archer this time around, so we'll figure that out later. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you, there's different things you can make. Did I miss that on anything else? Shields. Okay, so there's going to be different shields in that category. Anything with the dots on it, it looks like. Yep, and it has a number next to it. Okay. Oh, we got lockpicks. Make that with metal scrap. Okay, so I don't ha I don't know if I have en enough for everything, but I'm going to try to make myself a whole outfit. Need two more string, and we definitely don't have the cloth, though. Okay, well, we're going with a shirt for now. Now I can cover up Mr. Nipples here. Where's the backpack? And... Whip. Oh, uh, look at that. Really coming together. Looking like a vagrant and everything. Right. Look at all these capsules. These are what I came out of. These must have been like escape pods or something. Because it said that, uh... That, well, not note, that guy, the captain, I think. Said a lot of the other people were in them. More cloth. Take that. Cloth, the better. Alright, let's read this. Another failure. The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame, a bright flash, then nothing. Hopefully the side effect of blindness was only temporary. I've acquired a new subject. Another rat. Igni. Hopefully our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it, and may well. I really want more cloth though. I think I might have enough to make a, like a pair of pants now. Yep, I got the cloth, now I need to make the string, two of them. Get them pants going. Wait, do I already have pants? That's probably a good thing to check. Character. Threaded bear pants, or thread bear pants. Throw physical resistance and mag magical resistance. So let's see if that's better. Rags. No, this is way better. They're all torn up too. It's that custom torn. Craft them up. Backpack. Get on that vagrant clothes. Oh yeah, we're looking all torn up now. I just need to get some little footsies, some, some foot prisons feet off the ground. Alright, let's head into this building now. What is that? Okay, that looks like it blows up. I'm not gonna stay away from that. We're gonna craft one more thing from the ancient vault, and we're gonna get some more wooden arrows. Alright, we got the arrows. There's a guy there. I knew I needed it. Unless that's our guy. That looks like an enemy, actually, because on the top left it looks like we got to get him out of the pod. Alright, moment of truth. Yep, enemy. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. No. Calm down. Hey, where's my ammo? I made more ammo. Okay. Acting like I didn't have no ammo? What the heck? And got more metal scraps. Make lock picks and stuff. It looks like a lot of these people didn't survive in here. Sword out. Some Fallout vibes from this game too. Vaults. 
I use this? Venture forth. It's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. First human to enter will be our true prototype, inling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until aroused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age stain the seeds of the next. I can't say that name for some reason. It gets me every time. Balthazar. Ooh, there's a door here. Okay. Before we do that, let's go see if we can get this friend of ours. Better be a friend. Awaken the survivor. Oswald. Got a summoning staff. Wait a minute. What do you mean a summoning staff? A charcoal kiln? Find the sleeping survivor. I found him. You retrieved a survivor. Place them in your home with a summoning staff. Backpack. Where's this summoning staff? Or do I gotta make one? Let's see. I don't see it. Okay. Uh, let's go to crafting. Staff. How many staff? There it is. We need twigs. Okay, we gotta do that back at the old house. Before we do that, I wanna see what's in this little secret door over here. Ooh. A lockpick required. I knew this is gonna be needed. That's why we got all that metal scrap. There we go. Use item. Uh okay. Masterful mace. Look at that thing. 16 damage and 2 parry power. Melee weapon. And we'll take that. The chest needs to make up his mind if it's going to be open or closed. Open. I'm closed. Okay. Let's move this up here. I'm thinking I'm going to put most of the food on the bottom one. My tools on the other. That'd be better. Um, Yeah. Maybe some healing stuff at the end here. Because once you eat food, it stays there for a while, so you're not going to really need to do that. Okay, let's just do that. And let's go with the bow and the mace. I think that'll be an okay setup. Alright, look. Oh, it's a two-handed. Look at that big mother trucker. Alright, let's roll out. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map using M. Navigate to the map and select your home. Oh, we got fast travel in this? Uh, home level one. Fast travel. And you gotta love magic. We're back. All right. Okay. I made it back to the house. Um, the land that is supposed to be uh, the house. I mean with the flame. Survival will be worth a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Of course, I used all my twigs on making ammo. Let's chop down this tree over here real quick. I was critical on that tree. I couldn't even take it. That was it. Some resin. Can I craft twigs from those wood logs? I feel like that would be nice. Um, let's see. Backpack. Where's the logs at? Right here. Nope, you can only split them. Maybe you can do it with a workbench or something. Find some twigs. This bush should have them. Oh, it's a berry bush. There's the twigs. Big bush. I think we only needed one to make that staff. Yep, craft it. And backpack. The million torches we don't need. We don't need a sword and a mace, I don't think. Alright. Summoning staff. Let's see what our friend's gonna do. Ab ready summoning staff. Oswald Anders the blacksmith. Oh, that's the guy that got sacrificed. 
There you go. Hey! Hey, what's up? You don't got a shirt on either. I got a shirt on now. I'm gonna have to make my shirt. Anyway. My guy's short. Okay. Talk and craft. Tell me what you need. This guy's got a majestic mustache, I'll tell you that. Oswald Andrews the Blacksmith. Unsheltered to comfort level five, so we're gonna have to build him stuff. Craft first gear. Back out of that. Right there. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spike club will serve us well. Little trucker called me weak. And pu I, I am smaller than him. Ain't weak though. New location charted. And crafting. Oh, look, we can make a forge. Charcoal kiln, nails, Elling axe. That must be better. Pickaxe now. Um, there's a lockpick. We already do that. One-handed weapons. Her armor set. All that. Oh, it's got some plates on it. Dishes. A decorative object to design and beautify your home. Oh, we're gonna need that one. Make something cool. Enhanced equipment. Or enhanced equipment. All upgradable items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. And seen an item unlocks new perks. So, and each perk costs ruins, gather ruins by salvaging weapons and Interesting. We can upgrade this stuff. Manual crafting. That must just be the crafting that I can do out of my inventory. My backpack. Hey. Never force it. Just get a bigger hammer. The bigger hammer. Long last I return, I am a humble blacksmith at your service. Let us let's prepare you for what's to come. I agree. Do that. Okay. Well everyone, this is the end of episode one. We have found our friend the blacksmith, and we will be set off on the next adventure for episode two. And that one we are going to I guess forge a weapon and figure out what else we're going to do here. Maybe build a base. Well, for everyone watching, thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.